Good evening, Shabbos to you. I hope you're all well. Happy Friday, everybody. Mazel tov this week. Mazel tov to Lindsay and Richard Bash on Charlie's Bar Mitzvah and Daisy's Bat Mitzvah. Mazel tov. And to grandparents Sharon and Jack Bash. Mazel tov. Mazel tov to Fiona Risner Green and to Lloyd Leckerman on Daisy's Bat Mitzvah. Mazel tov. Mazel tov to Haley and David Travato on Isaac's Bar Mitzvah. Mazel tov. Mazel tov to Kira and Benji Levy on the birth of their son. Oh, mazel tov. And to grandparents Daniela and Stephen Levy. Mazel tov. And great grandparents Leah and Jerry Grumberg. Mazel tov. Mazel to Yael and JJ on their silver wedding anniversary. Mazel tov. And mazel tov to Ros Newmark on her grandson's bar mitzvah. Mazel tov. Mazel to Tamara and Aaron Faber on the birth of their son. Mazel tov. And mazel tov to anyone else who has a birthday, anniversary or any other simcha in the coming week. Mazel tov. We wish Rafur Shlema to anyone who's unwell. Shlema. Long life to Judith Friedman on the sad passing of her father, Leo Cohen. Shlema. And to Kim Miller on the sad passing of her mother, Yvonne Brow. Shlema. And to anyone else observing a yacht site in the coming week. Yes, um, and Shabbos times this week. So Shabbos begins uh, on Friday at 5.54. And uh, Kabbalah Shabbat and Marav will be at Croxdale Yavna and in Elstree at that time. There's still gingerbread tories on at uh, Croxdale. And, and what also, else? What else is there? What else? Um, chicken soup. Chicken soup. I think goodness. it's called soup to savour. So it's both chicken and vegetable soup at Croxdale after the service. Uh, Shabbos morning, it's a busy one. Vayakel, Pekude, a double center. And there's also Pasha Zachodesh. Uh, and, uh, Does that is, mean that something's coming? Closer? It is. It is. <laughs> yes. The P word. We can't say it. Uh, we can't say it. Okay. Pesach is coming. That's right. Um, the shops are changing now. Like it's really getting a lot more real now. Yeah. It is, it's definitely going to happen. Okay. So yes. Um, for the early birds, Hashkam is at seven forty-five this week. Main service at Croxton and Yavin at nine thirty. Uh, Kiddush uh, after the service, and then Minchah following Kiddush. And I'll be giving a shir in the afternoon at f- at six forty. And then uh, Marev and Motsu Shabbos, when Shabbos goes out, is at 6.57. Yes, okay, things coming up. Things coming up. There's still a few spaces left. Last chance to book Last for the Matzah book, yes. Bakery oh, on Sunday. Be a lot of fun, that is. Please There's lots of different sessions course. in different ages, yeah. so please book. The uh, Women's Pampering Evening is sold out, oh, I believe. Wow, so that's really good. Um, no, you still can't go. <laughs> and coming up, the booking for the communal seder, the BS communal seder on the second night of Pesach. Yeah, booking uh, opens, on, booking opens on Sunday, yeah, yeah, yeah. so look out for that. That was great last year. Yeah. That was fun. Please book for it. Uh, that'd be great. Um, also, it was lovely, wasn't it? A couple of weeks ago, we had the baby blessing. The photos have just come out from that. Yeah, really that was lovely really photos. Nice. And the last Shabbat was lovely to see all the youth in shul for the Shabbat BA Shabbat Harigun. Yeah. So that was great. Okay, so lots happening. So, quick, I did share with you for Shabbos. You know, there's a phrase that stands out in the account of the construction of the Mishkan, that portable temple, because it's repeated a number of times in the Parsha. And the Orochaim Or- explains that in this final and complete audit, the Torah emphasizes that everything was done. As God had instructed Moshe to tell us that the Mishkan corresponded exactly to God's instructions in all of its details. It didn't have like one of those IKEA booklets with the pictures. Well, well, that's what's That might have been helpful. It was probably more helpful than that. But all the pieces were there, they weren't actually missing. Or extra ones. No, definitely not. (laughs) And you have that really weird weird queuing system. Anyway, we are digressing here because (laughs) the repetition of that phrase that they did everything as God had instructed highlights the seemingly seemingly unnecessary minutiae that might appear to us as to be arbitrary when viewed in isolation but when they're gathered together it becomes clear that they each play a part in the overall finished product a dwelling place for God himself now similarly if we allow the Torah's exacting rules the do's and the don'ts to guide our life they will also lead us into a meaningful relationship with God Something to think about. Yeah, so it's not like IKEA when you get stuck going in and out. Definitely not. <laughs> I know weird, those weird Swedish names as well. <laughs> I wish you all a good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Shabbat shalom.